Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to download and install the WASD movement mod in Baldur's Gate 3. So I think the WASD character movement is one of the greatest mods for this game because it turns it into somewhat of like a Dragon Age origin style. It's great. So we're going to manually download this. This is the easiest way. You do need the native mod loader and if you don't have that, I have a video on how to do that. So I'll have that linked in the description. But we're just going to download this. Shout out to the author of this. This is an amazing mod. So. Once we get that all downloaded, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our downloads here and we're going to extract this. So that's important. We don't want to not do that because otherwise this won't work correctly. So we're going to get a bin file and then a native mods file here. So what we're going to do is first we're going to go into our computer here, this PC, Windows. So wherever you have Baldur's Gate 3 downloaded, we're going to go into the program files, scroll down to Steam. And then we're going to scroll down into the Steam apps here. So this is important. We got to go into here, common, Baldur's Gate 3. And then we're going to go into the bin folder. And then there's the native mods folder. So if there's not a folder here already, download native mods. And then you might have to create the native mods folder if there's not one here already. I would recommend just grabbing the... Uh, the native camera tweaks mod as well because that's going to have the file that you need there so we're going to copy these two files into the native mods file here so make sure it does go into the native mods one there and then once that is done we're going to go um once that is in there we're going to back out of here and then what we're going to do is we're going to go and take this sdl2.dll file and then we're going to drag that into the bin folder so we're going to uh, replace the file in the destination here. This is important to make sure you do copy it and overwrite it. So once you have that there, we're going to have that new file in there. And then the native mods is going to have that. I have the camera tweaks already in here, but then these two WASD mods. And once that's done, it's going to have that all loaded up. So the next time you pop into Baldur's Gate 3, you're going to be moving around with the WASD mod. Now I do have a guide on the native camera tweaks and the native mod loader. So if you're having struggles with those, check those videos out. I made it pretty simple and straightforward to get downloaded. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next video.